to be so intense that it's going to drive everybody to the place of final assembly just before the day of resurrection. Now that place will be in Syria, which includes modern day Palestine. All Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are fun and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction guys I want to thank you so much for getting us to 15,000 subscribers, we're almost getting to 16,000, thank you so much, you're the real SMVP. MVP. Also guys, if you want to actually, um, you know, follow us on other social media, whatever thing, there are going to be some low authors that are going to come out from this place over here just follow us on social media check out what we do uh, we don't only do YouTube we do a lot of things in the my girlfriend she's a writer I am a photographer filmmaker and I do a lot of good things you can just go check it out man and uh, from there you will learn more about us and whatnot and yeah so also we have a new channel called Falling Jesse 2.0 the, the link is gonna be in the description below go and hit that link and uh, we talk we we actually do videos right there you know our lives uh, live um <clears throat> whatever whatever we go through uh during our day life and whatnot we do videos right there just make sure to go there and you know watch our videos man feel free to watch our videos anyway so right about now we're going to do another reaction video this one right here was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to 10 surprising end times prophecies in islam so without any further ado guys let's get it even though the Quran and Muslim resources don't have a lot of information about end time signs and prophecies, there's still a pretty good amount of info on them. Welcome to another episode of FTV Facts, guys. My name is Leroy Canton, and this episode was requested by Wasim Wazir. Thanks for this topic request. And honestly, researching for this video was really intense, but you asked for it, so I had to do it. So get ready for another eye-opening and interesting episode. Now, you're going to get familiar with 10 major and some minor signs and prophecies in Islam whether you're Muslim or not so let's jump into this at number 10 we have Dajjal the appearance of the Antichrist called Dajjal is a big one however Dajjal is not actually mentioned in the Quran only in the Hadith apparently he will be a Jew that's born in Iran to parents who have not had any children for 30 years he'll also wow. have only one eye and he'll claim to be a prophet he'll deceive a lot of people by performing miracles and the Hadith mentions that he'll have the word infidel or unbelief written on his forehead now I actually did a full video on Dajjal and if you haven't seen it already I have a link to that down below check it out it's very interesting a number nine women outnumbering men 50 to 1. This is one of the minor signs of the end times in Islam that women will outnumber men by a 50 to 1 ratio. Now no reason is actually given but Muslims do speculate that this could be due to men that will give their life for their faith or other military duties where women aren't necessarily as much involved as men are. Then this would eventually impact the total amount of men alive versus women alive. So the ratio will tip. The beast comes in at number 8 but this is not too scary because it's a good beast. So before the time of the end, there's gonna be this good beast that comes from out of the earth. And now the beast will tell the world to recognize Allah as the Supreme God. The beast will wear a ring of King Solomon, another prophet from the Quran, as well as he'll carry the rod of Moses, which is also a prophet. Also, those who reject this message will have the word infidel also written on their foreheads, similar to Dajjal. The great fire is next. So this is going to be a great fire that breaks out from the south of Eden, which today is actually known as Yemen. Now this blaze will spread worldwide and it's going to be so intense that it's going to drive everybody to the place of final assembly just before the day of resurrection. Now that place will be in Syria, which includes modern day Palestine. All people are subjected to two judgments. There's that preliminary judgment at death and then the final judgment at the time of resurrection. There's also the reign of Jesus. Jesus will proclaim Islam to be the true religion and all Christians apparently are gonna convert when this happens. All other religions are gonna be totally eliminated as well and Jesus will be the sole ruler wow. of the earth. Every single animal that's harmful is gonna be completely domesticated and there's gonna be a lot of rain and a plentiful amount of crops and food and everything's gonna be great. There's not gonna be 
any weapons for war or anything like that. Everything's going to be used for the good of humanity. But the thing is, the reign of Jesus is only going to last for 40 years. And during that time, he's going to be regularly going to the city of Mecca. 21 years into his reign, it's said that he's going to marry and have children. And 19 years later, he'll pass away. Now, he'll be buried in Medina next to the prophet Muhammad, where he will also await the day of resurrection. So when Jesus dies, all the believers will also die peacefully. And unbelievers will be left alone, left behind, to just fully indulge their evil passions. Gog and Magog come at number five. Well, before the reign of Jesus happens, the invasion of Gog and Magog will happen. Now, this one is mentioned in the Quran in Surah 18 verses 83 to 99, as well as Surah 21 verse 96. Gog and Magog are represented by two nations that are gonna have massive army, and they're gonna invade Palestine from the north, and they'll also besiege Jesus as well as his followers. And Jesus at that time is gonna pray to Allah to save them and that's when Allah is going to respond by sending this insect plague that's going to destroy all of those armies. Now one of the last signs before the end will be an amazing miracle that's going to happen. The sun is actually going to rise in the west. Normally it's in the east. Another minor sign is the smoke. So according to the Quran there's going to be this cloud of smoke that's going to arise and just cover the entire Earth. Now when this happens, it's going to cause a lot of suffering on the planet. Now number two, the Caliphate, which is the seat of Islamic authority, will be established in the Holy Land. Now a lot of Muslims have a hard time with this because they're not necessarily sure what the term Holy Land actually means. Some say it refers to Palestine. And if it does refer to Palestine, that means that this prophecy hasn't happened yet. And some Muslims believe that this refers to Saudi Arabia. And if it is Saudi Arabia, then this prophecy was fulfilled 1400 years ago. And the final sign of prophecy that I want to mention dealing with the end times in Islam is the three trumpets. So after the gathering of the people that I mentioned to Syria from around the world, the first of the three trumpets will blow. The first is called the trumpet of terror and that's going to be like a wake up call that's going to like put a lot of fear in the hearts of people like oh my god the end is coming. Then there's going to be a second trumpet and that one is called the trumpet of swoon. This will make every single creature in heaven and earth die except God and except anyone that God chooses to spare as well as the martyrs who are alive in paradise they will all be fine. Now when the universe is totally empty of all life Allah will declare that he's all powerful and the God of all. Three times Allah is going to shout I am the mighty one and then again three times he's going to say to whom does the kingdom belong to. Then, obviously, there's going to be no answer back, and he's going to say, it belongs to the only one, God, the conqueror. During the time between these two trumpets, that's when Allah is going to create new heavens and a new earth, and when it's complete, that's when the final trumpet is going to be blown, and that is the trumpet of resurrection. All right, so those were 10 surprising signs and prophecies of the end time in Islam. Let me know all your thoughts and comments about anything else that I mentioned down below. I'd love to hear all your thoughts on this and if you have any suggestions for future episodes leave those down below as well. Yeah this is a real exciting one. Let's just wrap it up right now. If you're still here that means you enjoy this episode so why not check out another one. Here's an annotation that you can tap on right by my head. It'll take you to another episode. My social media links are also below in this video description section so you can follow me over there. I love chatting with you guys over especially on Instagram. And if you haven't done so already you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of future episodes. We post daily here on FTD Facts. All right, guys. See you soon. Even though the court... Wow. <clears throat> 10 surprising end time prophecies in Islam. <laughs> this one right here is um, very informative. There's some I didn't know and some I knew about them. And this is amazing. This is really, really amazing. That's why we are doing all these reactions, guys. I mean... You know, there's certain people who probably don't know about all these things and when they, when they get to watch the video, they actually come up to uh, an understanding that, wow, so these are the things that are going to happen towards the end of times or the end of uh, time prophecies and stuff like that, which is, um, there are some that we do experiencing right now, that we are having an experience of right now as we speak, and probably some are going to come in in the future or something like that and we hope for the best man i mean the thing is let's just strengthen ourselves do what's good you get it and you'll find yourself towards that righteous path anyway um 
such an amazing content such an amazing shout out to the people who actually uh, told us to react on this one you're the realist and thank you so much and if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give us a thumbs up and don't forget and if you feel and if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about this reaction over here what do you think about the end times just let me know man do you think like uh, i don't know just let me know in the comment section below and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep on subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos to give us a better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you in the next video and peace out <music>